Hello and welcome to episode 217. We are going to be saving items to data storage. So let's go straight on. We don't need any setup for this. I am going to pop down a little block there and put my sign on it. And this will be, uh, we'll save from the player to storage. Okay, I'm going to pick uh, the first block. So data modify storage. Let's give it a name. I'll put infernal device. So we've got a namespace and some data. Infernal device data. Uh, let's call it held item because I'm holding the item. Set from entity nearest player, so me. Set it from my inventory and I will set it from uh, slot 0B, so my first slot on my hotbar. Done. What have I got? I've got a command block. So let's press the button. Doink. And let's look at the storage. Data get storage ID data. That's what we called it. And there it is. Held ID. Oh, we've got two extra things in there from another tutorial. Okay, we've got Z pos and X pos. Let's get rid of those so they don't confuse us. Data remove from storage ID data X pos. I think I completely missed the X off there. X pos. Z pos, clear chat, F3 and D, and let's get the data again. Okay, so we've got held item, and there's our item we're holding. Okay, let's put that into a chest. Let's put it into this chest here. So what are we, what are we, negative X in that direction? Facing west, negative X. So this will be from storage to, I suppose, a container. Done. We will data modify the block negative x, so one that's just next to the chest. And we'll set that from storage, oops. What, what, oh, let's get rid of that. Data modify the block to one to the negative X and we want to modify its items list. And we'll set from storage ID data and we called it held item. Done, nothing in there. There's our command block. Okay, let's change what's in our first slot. Let's put a chest in our first slot. Save the item. Put the item in there. There's our chest. Okay. Now you can't go from storage directly to player because you can't modify the player's data, but we can go from storage to player. So, or from, from container, sorry, from a container to player. So let's do that. Container to a player. Done. So let's get We've got anything in there at the moment? We've got a chest, I think. Yeah, let's get a chest. Let's um, get rid of that chest. And we'll chuck those away as well. Okay. So there's our chest in slot zero. Let's item replace entity nearest player. It's me. We're going to container slot zero. So that's the first slot on my hotbar from block uh, plus two on the X so that's from the direction I'm facing now that's plus two left so that's that chest and we'll take it from container slot zero done so I should get a, a chest now nice okay so that's pretty much it but we can save stuff so let's um, let's put a command in here say hi done and then we'll control middle mouse to get that with its command and then I'll put that in my slot one and we'll save to storage and let's have a look at storage uh, f3d to clear the chat let's have a look at storage 
there's our block it's got all the information perfect so if we if we clear our chat uh, let's go there and just well not clear our chat clear our inventory and then we'll modify the storage container and then we'll transfer the container to the player and if we put it down it's still got its command so that's pretty cool i like that uh, or we can just manually set the uh, set the data ourselves. We don't have to copy it from a player. Uh, so let's just say directly directly set storage. So let's set uh, data modify storage ID data held item set value and that's where we're going to put the information okay so done let's put something simple into storage let's copy that gray wool that's pretty simple and then let's just throw it away straight away okay gray wool let's put that there we'll copy that into storage let's have a look at storage f3d let's have a look at storage so we can see we've got held item, we've got a slot number, an ID, and account. Okay, so let's copy those, but we don't need the slot number because, or the, the held item, that's here. So let's put a slot number, slot 0B, and then we had an ID, Minecraft gray wool, and then we had a count. We had a count of one let's change our count to three just to see if we get a difference okay let's have a look at storage okay so the only thing that should change is that count should change to three so let's press that let's have a look at storage again count has changed to three so now if i press this we get three there and if i press this we get three on the inventory okay that's good let's get our command block and let's put our command back in it say hi control middle mouse let's put that on our first slot so we get the data of that one let's copy its data and now let's have a look at its data oh it's got quite a bit of stuff so we ignore held item that's what we named that's where we put it so we've got a slot ID okay but where's the command command okay so then we go inside tag and then we go inside block entity tag and we keep going command okay so it's inside tag block entity tag let's have a play with that so command command block and then it was inside tag and then it was inside block entity tag and inside there we had command say hi let's say ho instead hi ho so let's put that in storage okay we've got a lot of stuff that we didn't have that the last one did have but we don't need we just want that command so say ho okay let's copy that into the chest we've got three of them because we didn't change that number let's clear our inventory let's copy that from the container to the player let's put one down and inside we should have our command still ho there we go so there's a little bit of a um, simple copying stuff to storage from the player from the storage data to a container, from the container to a player, or just directly setting it ourselves. You can have a little fiddle with that if you want, or think of something cool and interesting to do with it. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.